Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle and I am so happy that you're here. In today's video, we will be budgeting my first paycheck in November. So if that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay, so first we will check our calendar to see which bills we're responsible for with this check. So payday was on November the 1st and this is a magic month for me. So we'll have three paychecks this month. So on November the 1st, I have my mortgage and my HOA due. And then on the third, my electricity bill is due. And then on the fourth, my gas bill. On the sixth, this is Apple Music. And then Veterans Day is on the 11th. Shout out to all the veterans, thank you for your service. And then the 12th, my Hulu Live is due. And then on the 13th, we have my dreaded student loan payment resuming. And then on the 15th, we will get paid again. So now that we know what bills we need to cover with this check, we can fill out our paycheck budget worksheet. Okay, so payday was on November the 1st. And this check will last us until November the 14th. And then we will get paid again on the 15th. And the amount we have to budget with this check is going to be $1,653. So now that we have our amount, the first thing we need to do is take care of our fixed expenses. So first, I always budget my ties, which is 10%. So we'll do $165. This does not have a due date. And then we will move into my electricity bill, which is due on November the 3rd. And that is going to be $99 this month. Then we have my natural gas bill, which is due on the 4th. And that is $88 this month. Then we have my Apple Music. which is due on the 6th, and that is just $5. And then we will jump back up to Hulu Live, which is due on the 12th, and that one has increased to $77, so I'm probably gonna be getting rid of this one soon. And then we have my student loans. Unfortunately, they have resumed, so that payment is due on the 13th. I'm so annoyed about it. <laughs> I never thought they would come back, but yes, they're, they're due again. So that payment is $120. And then last but not least, we have my mortgage, which is due on December the 1st. And since we have three paychecks this month, we're going to divide the total amount by three. So I just need to set aside $321 this check. So those are all of my fixed expenses. So we'll go ahead and total them all up. So we have 165 plus 321 plus 99 plus 88 plus 77 plus five plus 120. So our fixed expenses total $875. And to get our remaining, we'll take 1653 and subtract 875. So we have $778 remaining. So next thing I like to do is move into my variable expenses and the categories I like to have is food, personal, miscellaneous, and gas. And for food, we're going to do $150. And then since I'll have some extra money this check, I'm going to do $200 in personal, which is more than I usually do. I usually do 150. So We'll give ourselves an extra $50. And then miscellaneous, we'll get the usual 50. And then gas is going to get 25. So we'll add this up. So 150 plus 200 plus 50 plus 25. So our variable expenses total 425. And then to get our remaining, we'll take 778 and subtract 425. So we have $353 remaining. So now that we have all of our expenses fixed and variable taken care of, we can move into our savings and our debt. 
So we have $353 remaining. So I'm going to put $200 towards savings, which leaves $153 to put towards our 100 envelope challenge. So that is 353. So that means we have zero dollars remaining, which also means we have created a zero base budget. Okay, so instead of our usual 100 envelope challenge, I have decided to do something a little different today to fund our sinking funds. So I got this idea from Raquel over at Ray's Budget, and she does a sinking fund showdown. So she'll spin the wheel to decide where her um, cash is going for a sinking fund. So we're gonna try it today. It seems like it'll be real fun, so let's see. So I have my calculator over to the side just to keep a running total so we can go ahead and get started. So we'll spin the wheel. Okay, health is going to get $5. Spin again. Okay, health with another five. Spin again. Okay. Home with 10. Travel with five. I kept travel low because I don't have any trips planned soon. So we'll just keep that one at five for right now. But okay, car with 10 bucks. Hopefully we'll land on that one a couple more times because I need some new tires. with 10. Okay. Car with 10. So we have $98 left. I like how this is going because I do need a lot of money in cars, so, okay. Guess, 10. So travel with five. I think I may make the amounts a little bit bigger next time. So duly noted. Health with five. So we have 20 bucks in health. Should we hide this slice or should we just keep going? I'm gonna keep going. Travel with five. And I'm gonna hide that one because we don't need anything else in travel. For right now, at least. Car with 10. Eighteen bucks left. And then home with 
10. So I'm going to hide that one too. So we have $8 left. And then we'll go to gifts. Okay, so we'll set this to the side. I like that. Let me know if you guys like that, if that's something I should keep doing. And then we will make sure we added this up correctly. So car has $40. Gifts has $38. Health has 20. Home has $40. And then travel has 15. So we'll add this up and make sure it totals 153. 30 plus 38 plus 20 plus 40 plus 15. Okay. So now we just need to bring our iPad back and fund my digital cash envelopes and sinking funds. Okay. So we have our funding tab open. So starting with our variable expenses, food has a zero balance and we will be adding 150. And then personal has a zero balance as well, and we will be adding 200. Miscellaneous has a 91 cent balance, and we are going to be adding 50. And then gas has a $54 balance, and we are going to be adding 25. So that is the 425 from our variable expenses. And then for our sinking funds, car maintenance has $251 and we're going to be adding 40. And then gifts has $172 and we are going to be adding 38. Health has $208 and we are going to be adding 20. Home has $210 and we're going to be adding 40. And then last but not least, travel has $236 and we are going to be adding 15. So that is the $578 we're going to be funding. So I'll fund those cubes. And then for our new totals, food has 150, personal has 200, miscellaneous has 51, gas has 79, car maintenance has 291, gifts has 210, health has 228, home has 250, and travel has 251. So that is all I have for today's video. If you are enjoying this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.